Sharon, now the shocking and very, very sad news coming out of the entertainment world. Nick Cannon gave a tearful announcement of the death of his youngest son, five-month-old Zen, who died of brain cancer over the weekend. Cannon made the announcement on his daytime talk show yesterday. Yeah, mm. it's, um, I mean, I gotta tell you, <laughs> the, it, it came mm. across the screen, um, and you, I know we were on the group text. It is gut-wrenching. I, mm -hmm. I don't even want to complete the sentence. I can't imagine mm. what it's like, you know, because we're, we're parents too, not about us, but how do you prepare? I mean, he had some heads up, obviously, and wanted to um, spend the time, you know, talked about how his son took a turn for the worse over Thanksgiving. Um, and, and here we are, you know, not not that much later that this little five month old source of happiness, you know, we've we've joked he has so many kids. This is a man who loves mm -hmm. clearly being a dad mm -hmm. and loves having children um, and wants to mm -hmm. have his whole clan, you know, and it's just never death is hard. <laughs> Death is so hard and so yes. final, but how do you prepare mm -hmm. to bury a child who you are here to protect, yeah. love, support, champion? It It's heartbreaking. I feel for Nick Cannon. I do. And Alyssa yeah. Scott. Yeah, definitely. Let's not forget about Alyssa Scott. Nick Cannon, uh, first and foremost, our thoughts and our prayers are with both of them. Uh, like you said, it's heartbreaking. Uh, it's not even my child and it's emotional because like you said, you can't yeah, even imagine yeah. losing one of your own. I mean, no, no person should ever have to bury their child. And I pray that I die before I have to even think about yeah. one of my children, uh, any of the three passing away before me because that is something that you will never overcome. That is something that you will never ever forget mm -hmm. about. You will wake up every morning thinking about that. And, you know, once again, uh, this is uh, horrible. We can, once again, people cared about the seven children or whatnot. You know, look, you could have 70 children, you lose one, it still hurts the same way. Uh, and, you know, but when we think about it, we'll look at pediatric uh, brain tumors and uh, uh, when it comes to cancer and, 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 and kids as well. I had a friend of mine who just lost her uh, son uh, to basically the same thing, uh, less than a year ago. Uh, and, uh, I know how devastating that is for her. And it just took me back to when my youngest child was, um, my, my, my wife was pregnant at the time, my youngest child, and she was going through some, some pregnancy difficulties and how emotional that made me feel and how scared I was. And when we brought her home, just staying up late at night and just watching her breathe just to make sure that she's still breathing even though she was a healthy baby at the time she was born a healthy baby just watching her breathe because you're just so afraid of losing your child so once yeah. again i feel bad for nick cannon i feel bad for Alyssa scott and uh our prayers are with you brother and sister <clears> and um we're gonna be there for you with there and uh you know zen is looking down on you as well so there's that yeah um, i think um <clears throat> I think too. I'm going to say this before we move on. Um, you know, when I when I get up, I look at uh, social media, and I I came across or it came on my timeline, Sabrina Fulton, where she was just pontificating about losing her baby, and what she said mm -hmm. was that it it you know it never goes away because you're not supposed to, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. bury a child. Never goes away. Lucy McBath. Okay, mm -hmm. it never goes away. Mm -hmm. Okay, Trayvon Jordan, mm -mm. Um, and mm -hmm. it it dawns on me having lost someone close to me recently. I want to make sure I still hear his voice. You want to make sure you still mm -hmm. hear their voice, a child's voice, a child's cry. All of us have a unique voice. You know, it could be a crowded room, but I know my daughter's voice. You know, I know who's mm -hmm. saying mm -hmm. mom. So 
I just feel for them to mother someone every second, yeah. you know, five months old, and then he's he's gone, and there's nothing you can do. Nick Cannon has gobs of money, fame, and resources, and he, there's nothing he mm. can do. Yeah. So, yeah, it's tough. No amount of money, no amount of resources, no amount of no. access can ever replace that mm -hmm. child. So, once again, our, our mm -hmm. thoughts, our prayers, our love is with you and Alyssa Scott today, my brothers.